an event, and this becomes a little trickier. Event A occur, uh, occurring affects the probability of event B. So we have two events going on, and the first one affects the outcome of the second one. Usually you'll see the words like without replacement. So how do you figure these out mathematically? Well, these problems are, you take the probabilities, multiply them together, which is also known as the intersection. So you take the probability of A, and then you multiply it by the probability of B given A, okay? So the first event is just normal, but the second event you have to take into account the fact that the first event occurred, okay? Once you do a few of these, they'll make more sense. Okay, an aquarium contains six male goldfish and four female goldfish. You randomly select a fish from the tank, do not replace it, then randomly select a second fish. What's the probability that both are male? Hmm, okay, we have six out of 10 on the first try. That one's easy, six tenths. The second try though, we have to assume we chose one of those. So now we don't have six males anymore, do we? We only have five males to choose from, and we also only have nine fish to choose from. So it's five ninths is our second probability. So now let's reduce these and then multiply them. Okay, I'm gonna take a three out of this, and a three out of this, and a five out of this, and a five out of this, and look, the twos cancel. So what is that? One third. So one third of the time we would choose a male and then another male fish. Okay, set next one. A randomly a random sample of parts come off a machine is and is checked by an inspector. He found five out of a hundred parts are bad. If he were to do a new sample, what's the probability that he chooses a bad part and then picks another bad part if he doesn't replace the first one? Well, the first one is five out of a hundred. And then the second one, let's see, he chose, if he p picks a bad part and he doesn't put it back. So we're assuming he picked a bad part. So that means there's four bad parts left out of 99. Okay, so let's reduce these. One, 25th, and then one fifth. So that's one out of five times 99. And five times 99 would be what, 495 out of and one. There you go. So one out of 495 times that would happen.